now, now, now. We talked about this when it actually hit, when this first hit. Um, uh, and what's up, Arc says, uh, definitely there's something to the gaze, I think. I kind of agree, right? Like, like if you know somebody's looking at you and you can't possibly know, then how else do you know? You know what I'm saying? That sixth sense type of thing. It's definitely there. And if you can detect it, then there's something with the gaze, I think, in particular, right? So, yeah, definitely. All right. So let's go to this one. CNN.com reports this. Now, the most trusted source of news, by the way. Uh, nearly half a million people uh, may have had COVID-19 in Wuhan study shows. That's almost 10 times the official figure. 10 times. Okay, here we go. Uh, the study used a sample of 34,000 people in the general population in Wuhan, the original epicenter of the pandemic. In other cities in Hubei province, as well as Beijing, Shanghai, and the provinces of Guangdong, Jingsu, Sichuan, Lingnao, and I don't, can't say these words, to estimate COVID-19 infection rates. The researchers found an antibody prevalence rate of 4.43% for COVID-19 among residents in Wuhan, a metropolis of 11 million people. As of Sunday, Wuhan had reported a total of 50,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19, according to the Wuhan Municipal Health Commission. The study aimed to estimate the scale of past infections in a population by testing blood serum samples from a pool of people for coronavirus antibodies. Its findings were not taken to be final statistics of how many people in in a given area have been exposed to the virus. But the Chinese CDC said the study was conducted a month after China, quote, contained the first wave of the COVID-19 epidemic, uh, a month after they contained it. The prevalence rate outside the Wuhan, uh, outside of Wuhan is significantly lower, the study showed. In other cities in Hubei, only 0.44% uh, surveyed were found to have coronavirus antibodies. Outside the province, antibodies were only detected in two people among more than 12,000 residents surveyed. The results of the study were revealed in a Chinese CDC post on social media Monday. It did not mention whether the study has been published in academic journals. All right, so we talked about this actually when it first happened, when this, when all this was going down, when uh, Congress and everybody else was taught, were doing their orange man bad, trying to impeach and all the rest of this stuff. And again, right, uh, like I say, like like I'm disgusted with just the way the speed of government and the way they, they, they're really reactive and the, the, they, they play these stupid, like, childish games all the time. And, and again, right, like, it's, it's one of those situations where I think, I think you have to agree that they don't really have your best interest in mind. And that's, that's part of the shtick of this. But that's part of all of this. But okay, so while they were playing their patty cake and their stupid political games, uh, we were talking about this in January. In January of 2020, we were talking about this, this disease coming out of, out of China and how it was uh, uh, supposedly they were welding people inside of buildings to keep them quarantined, right? Uh, like, and they didn't give a damn. Like, they didn't give a damn about how uh, the, the rights of the people, right? They just wanted to get, get this thing uh, over with uh, as fast as possible, and they didn't give a damn the human cost of that. And so as a result, uh, this, is, this is what we get. We, get uh, we talked about them fibbing on the numbers, right? which again caused huge problems when this when this uh this thing got out and started kind of uh, uh taking over the world right doing its thing in Italy was one of the first places hit super hard and so as a result right uh, they lied and uh, there's a there's a ton more here that, that almost 10 times the official figure that uh, we actually looked at a while back on on the other show troubled minds that there was some uh, some data to suggest that there were millions of people that died from this in China and they didn't actually uh, um, really really touch it and so that where that information came from back then is uh, the telecoms so if, if anybody knows anything about China uh, their social credit scores built into their their cell phones right and so uh, you have to have a cell phone service basically to do anything in China. And what happened uh, in, in the, the cell phone um, reporting, the like in, in I think the, the following quarter, I want to say the, uh, so April, so let's say quarter two of, uh, of 2020 is that they had um, like a million less uh, uh, people subscribe to cell phones. And so, like, so there were a lot of reasons for that that, you know, people said basically uh, they, they explained it away. China did as a um, uh, folks had uh, stopped, uh, stopped commuting to work and these types of things. So they were shutting down cell phones. But that's not the way the social credit score works. Like you have to have it open. So so it kind of it it it, it seemed like millions of like a million people or something might have died in China and they, they covered it up. So, I mean, I don't know, like nobody really knows the answer to that because they're not going to be forthcoming with the numbers. And um, again, it's dangerous. We talked yesterday about China being a uh, a, a possible uh, threat to the to, to the, the world at large and, and the way they handle things. 
And this is another another good example, right? So if this was a uh, ten times uh, more dangerous than they were reporting at the time, and now that information is coming out, uh, I think uh, I think they they owe the world a really a really huge.